Well, it was very obvious that there were several qualities, great qualities that board members agreed on when it came to Dr. Green. One of those being she's already in Florida, so she understands state laws and legislation. They also say the work she has done in Manatee County the last three years has been tremendous, including helping get the district out of nearly $800 million in debt. Now take a look at some other qualities that all board members say they loved about Dr. Green and think that will be very helpful for Duval County. When she started as superintendent in Manatee County in 2015, there were 19 DNF schools and after her first year, that number was cut in half and continues to drop. They say she's bold and isn't scared to do what she needs to. And board member Warren Jones says next school year, Manatee County will have the highest starting teacher salary in the state, which he says shows that she truly cares about teachers, which he says are the most important part of a school district. Take a listen to what board chair Paula Wright said after they made their decision about her hopes for what Dr. Green can do here in Duval County with its D and F schools. We hope that she bring her in her her eagle eye uh, focus on instructional um, design uh, to help us eliminate as she has done in in Manatee. Um, and the other part of that is that her ability to um, look at instructional design and not just understand what it is, but also to professional develop uh, principals and, and other educational leaders on her team. And take a look at this picture that I snapped just moments after the board decided on Dr. Green. This is board chair Paula Wright, who you just heard from on the phone with Dr. Green, telling her that they officially voted her as their number one choice, saying we want to offer you this position. She got off the phone and we said, what did she say? She said, Dr. Green said, yes, yes. So a lot of excitement here for the Duval County School Board looking forward uh, to having a new superintendent and they are hoping to get her started by July 1st. Reporting live from the South Bank, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.